More people are expected to travel for Thanksgiving compared to last year. In fact, AAA is expecting an 80% uptick in air travel. For New Englanders looking to make up for lost time this holiday season, 12 News reporter Matt Paddock has all the tips you need for quick and simple holiday travel. I just spoke with John Goodman, spokesperson here at TF Green Airport, and he walked me through what travelers can expect as they start walking through these gates right here behind me. Thank you for your cooperation. Waiting for my son and his family to arrive from Florida. Airports are already buzzing as families are reconnecting for the holidays. It was really emotional seeing other families connecting and, you know, getting together and, you know, meeting each other, meeting up with each other. And for some, like Maria Sermades. So your grandma? I am a grandma. How excited are you to see the grandkids? So much. <laughs> so much. It's the first holiday spent with her son and grandchildren in over a year. And she says she couldn't be more excited. Happy holidays to everyone and happy Thanksgiving. It's the best time of the year, that's for sure. But as airports begin filling up again for holiday travel. It is the holiday travel weekend. We're expecting things to be very busy. John Goodman, a spokesperson for TF Green, is reminding travelers to be prepared and patient. So we ask everyone to pack their patience and understand that these longer lines are, can cause some stress for everyone, um, but everyone is committed to getting you to where you need to be. Daniel Velez, spokesperson for the New England Regions TSA, reminding travelers to make sure you arrive to the airport two hours prior to your departure, have your IDs ready, and make sure you fully unpack from prior trips. Start from scratch. Make sure it's completely empty. To, to be very busy, make sure you get there two hours ahead. And on those days, just come prepared, come early, have your ID out, um, be ready to go and enjoy your holiday. The airline industry continuing to deal with staffing shortages as all federal employees have been mandated to be vaccinated by Monday. And that does include TSA agents. But after speaking with Daniel Velez from the TSA, he says that is an issue he doesn't see being a problem here in the New England region. But reporting in Warwick, Matt Paddock, 12 News.